Hey everyone, this video is the second part of our previous card swipe tutorial video. If you haven't seen that, I'd recommend go do that first and then come back to this video. In this video, we are going to add rotation with swipe to a card, instantiate new card after a swipe, and add a size change effect to the second card behind our card. Before we start the video, please consider following us on Twitter. We post announcements and new Viking related news there, so you can stay up to date with that and we really want to see what you build with these tutorials. So you can tweet that to us and we would love to check it out. Now let's get started. Our first task is to add a rotation effect. Now we want our rotation to be proportional to the distance our card has moved from the center of the screen. In our on drag method, we first check if the current position is on the left or right of the initial position. If the position is on right, we want to change the local Euler angles of our card. For this, we are going to define a new vector 3, where x and y rotation are 0, since we'll be only rotating our card along the z axis. For a smooth movement, we'll be using mathf.lerp angle function and in here, we are going to rotate it from 0 to minus 30. But the end value is up to you and how drastic of a change you want. Next, for the third parameter, we want the rotation to be dependent on distance from center. So here, we do initial position minus current position and divide it by half of the screen size. Now to explain what's going on here, our third parameter goes from 0 to 1 to complete the movement from first to second parameter. Since our card was at the center of the screen, we can drag it at maximum half the distance of the screen width. So doing this for every unit of drag, we have a unit of rotation in our card which is going to lead to a smooth rotation. You can play with these values here and see how they turn out. Let's do the same for the case where card moves to the left of the center. In this case, we will rotate to plus 30 instead of minus 30. And for third parameter, we will subtract current position instead of adding it. This is because this parameter only takes 0 to 1 range value, so negative values won't work. Let's quickly test this out. This is working fine, but the card rotation gets stuck if you leave it midway. Let's quickly fix that. For this, in the on and drag method, we reset the local Euler angle to vector 3 0 and that should fix this. Now let's duplicate our card. Our next task is to zoom in this card based on the swipe distance covered by first card on the screen. For this, we start by creating a new script. In this script, we define a swipe effect component which is the script we used in the first card and we will also define a game object for the first card. In start method, we first retrieve swipe effect by find object of type and since there will only ever be one swipe effect card, we don't need to worry about checking if this is our card or not. We can also now get the game object of this component which will give us the first card game object. After this, we set the local size of our game object as 0.8 times in all axis. In our update method, we can use this first card game object to find how far from the center our game object is in x axis and if the absolute amount is greater than 0, we want to increase the size of our card. We are going from 0.8 to 1 in local size and here we do not care about the direction of this movement and therefore will work with the absolute value. We can save this in a step variable and then pass it to each axis of vector 3 for local size of our card. Let's test this out. So this works and we can move our card in either direction and there's a zoom effect on the card on the behind. Now before we work on instantiating, we need to take care of a couple of things. First is we need to let this card know when the first card has moved out. For this there are several methods but we are going to use event action. Let's quickly declare that in our first script and emit it if the card moves out of the screen. Now in our second script, let's create a function that adds swipe effect component and destroys this component. Let's test this. 
we are able to swipe the first card it moves away and now we can swipe the second card with all this done our final task is to instantiate a new card every time the card is destroyed for this we create a new script and store the card prefab in it we are going to attach this script to the canvas so we can check child count for the canvas in the update method and whenever it drops below 2 we instantiate a new card let's create a new function to instantiate the new card in this function we are going to instantiate a new game object with our prefab have the transform of canvas be its parent and world position stays as false there are multiple sets of arguments you can pass through instantiate method and depending on your arguments is going to figure out the rest now we want this on the top of the hierarchy in our case since the bottom objects in hierarchy appear first and top ones appear later doing this makes it such that our newly instantiated card is the second card now back in our scene let's take our second card from the hierarchy and drag and drop it in the assets window this will create a prefab and with the script in the canvas plugged we can drop the prefab in the prefab slot let's quickly test it out as you can see we can keep on swiping and new cards keep appearing before we end this video we have a small task for you for our second card along with the zoom in effect try adding a fade in effect such that the card goes from semi transparent to opaque as it moves forward it is quite similar to how we are doing the size change. If you figure it out, tweet at us at the handle on the screen. Also there are many other ways to accomplish this effect. If you can think of some other way, do share that with us in the comments. That was it for this video but there's more for you to watch. Check out our Unity UI playlist or this video that YouTube recommends for you and we will see you next time.